It's hard to be a tree in a big city, but people need trees in urban spaces. So let's dive into urban forestry. Urban landscapes are not the most forgiving places. You have towering skyscrapers, busy and chaotic streets, underground utilities, pollution, and many, many people. With limited growing space and a long list of challenges, urban trees work really hard to grow, let alone thrive. But we need trees in urban spaces. Trees that line our streets, grow in our backyards, make up groves in our neighborhoods, parks, schools, and urban campuses. Take a moment to imagine a city with no trees. You may not think much of their impact on your daily life, but there is a long list of benefits that city trees provide. Trees are more than the beauty they give, although their presence is indeed important for mental health and well-being. Trees also act as critical infrastructure, providing essential benefits that improve the quality of life for people in our cities. Urban trees provide many services, from cleaning the air and removing pollutants, to providing shade and keeping our cities and our neighborhoods cool by alleviating the heat island effect. Urban areas with abundant impervious surfaces, such as roads and buildings, absorb and retain heat, meaning that temperatures in cities can be 20 degrees Fahrenheit hotter than in the surrounding regions. Trees also help mitigate climate change by removing and storing carbon dioxide from the air. Over 90% of the world's population lives in communities with poor air quality, leading to respiratory and other health issues. Trees help to clean the air by filtering pollutants. Urban trees do all this in the face of harsh and sometimes extreme conditions. They grow in confined spaces, fighting concrete over their roots and glass and metal skyscrapers above their branches. They go through rigorous pruning to avoid power lines. They endure all of this, and I, for one, am really grateful. Today, 55% of the world's population lives in urban areas, a proportion that is expected to increase to 68% by 2050. This growing population will benefit from urban trees, but the planting rate needs to increase significantly to make our cities more livable in the face of climate change. Sadly, the history of environmental and social justice in the United States has led to the inequitable spread of beneficial resources in many urban communities. Communities of color have an average of 33% less tree canopy cover compared to communities with a majority of white residents, and low-income communities have even less. Helping these communities reach their urban forestry goals creates better living conditions for people that are often disproportionately affected by harmful living conditions in urban areas. A future One Tree Planted project in New Orleans, Louisiana will plant 150 15-gallon native trees in the Lower Ninth Ward. This area still needs resources to recover from the devastation of Hurricane Katrina. The trees planted here will help to filter and absorb stormwater runoff, alleviate the heat island effect, and improve air quality for the community. Getting community buy-in for projects like this is crucial. Long-term relationships and support and building capacity to establish and maintain trees are all necessary to ensure these projects succeed long-term. Another project in the New Delhi region in India will plant fruit trees at schools, providing food to the community for the next 40 to 50 years. Planting these trees will also help alleviate pollution. These are just two examples of how planting trees in urban communities can positively impact people across the globe. One Tree Planted has a fast-growing urban forestry program that works with communities around the globe to plant trees in neighborhoods that need trees the most. If you'd like to get your hands dirty planting trees with us, learn more or get involved, check out the links in the description below or visit our website.